In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray, and grant that by these Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages, to him be glory and power through every age, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. By His Holy and glorious wounds may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us Amen May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. The light of Christ, thanks be to Oh. 
the light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angels, ministers of God, exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud our mighty king's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad as glory floods are. Ablaze with light from our eternal king. Let all corners of the earth be glad knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lighting of his glory. Let his holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just with the ardent love of mind and heart and with devoted service of our voice to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the eternal Father in pouring out his own dear blood wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the lamb, the one true lamb, whose blood anoints the doppos of, of believers. This is the night when once you laid our forefathers, Israel's children from slavery in Egypt, and made them pass dry shod through the Red Sea. This is a night that with a pillar of fire banish the darkness of sin. This is a night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from the worldly, from the worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is a night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld, our birth would have been no gain had we not been redeemed. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond our telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault, that end so great, so glorious a redeemer. O oh, truly blessed night, worthy alone to know the time and hour when Christ rose from the underworld. This is a night of which it is written, the night shall be as bright as day. Dazzling is the night for me and full of gladness. The sanctifying power of this night dispels darkness, washes forts away, restores innocence to the fallen and joy to the mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. On this night, your night of grace, O Holy Father, 
accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servant's hand, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire in night for God's honor, a fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by sharing of its light, for it is fed by melting wax, drowned out by mother's bees, to build a torch so precious. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are weighed to those of earth and divine to the human. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, we pray you, that this candle, our Lord, to the honor of your name, may, may persevere and deemed to overcome the darkness of this night, receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star. The one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people. And in these, the last days, has sent us his son, our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. Genesis chapter 22, verse 1 to 18. God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and Abraham said, Here I am. God said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. When, when Abraham and Isaac came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar, then laid the wood in order. He bounded his son Isaac and laid him on the altar. On the top of the wood, then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. The angel said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a ticket by its own. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself, I son, say the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you. And I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashores. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies. And by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves because you have obeyed my voice, the word of the Lord. Protect me, O God, for you, for in you I take refuge. Protect me, O God, for you I take refuge. The Lord is my chosen portion 
and my cup you will hold my lot. I keep the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be removed. Protect me, God, for in you I take refuge. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to Sheol or let your faithful one see the pit. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. You show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Let us pray. O God, Supreme Father of the faithful, who increase the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who through the Paschal mystery make your servant Abraham, father of nations, as once you swore. Grant, we pray, that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me so? Tell the sons of Israel to march on. For yourself, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and part it for the sons of Israel to walk through the sea on dry ground. I, for my part, will make the, will make the heart of the Egyptians so stubborn that they will follow them. So shall I win myself glory at the expense of peril. All of, of all his army, his chariots, his horsemen, and when I have won glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, the Egyptian will learn that I am the Lord. Then the angel of the Lord, who marched at the front of the army of Israel, changed station and moved to the rear. The pillar of cloud changed stations from the front to the rear of them and remained there. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of the Israel. The cloud was dark and the night passed without the armies drawing any closer the whole night long. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord dropped back the sea with a strong easterly wind all night and he made dry, he made dry land of the sea. The waters parted and the sons of Israel went on, dry ground right into the sea, walls of water to right and to left of them. The Egyptians gave chase. After them they went right into the sea. All Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. In the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians from the pillar of fire and of cloud and drew the army into confusion. He so clothed their chariot wheels that they could scarcely make headway. Let us flee from the Israelites, the Egyptians cried. The Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Stretch out your hand over the sea, the Lord said to Moses, that the waters may flow back on the Egyptians and their chariots and their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as a day broke, the sea returned to its bed. The fleeing Egyptians marched right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians into the very middle of the sea. The returning waters overwhelmed the chariots and the horsemen of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left. But the sons of Israel had marched through the sea on dry ground. 
walls of water to right and to left of them. That day the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptian, and Israel saw the Egyptian lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed the great act that the Lord had performed against the Egyptians, and the people venerated the Lord. They put their faith in the Lord and in Moses, his servant. It was then that Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song in the honor of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. I will sing to the Lord glorious his triumph. I will sing to the Lord glorious his triumph. I will sing to the Lord glorious his triumph. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God and I extol him. My Father's God and I give him praise. Response, I will sing to the Lord glorious his triumph. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. The, f- the flower of his army is drowned in the sea. The, deep, the deeps hide them, they sank like a stone. Response, I will sing to the Lord, glorious is triumph. Your right hand, Lord, glorious in its power. Your right hand, Lord, has shattered the army, the enemy. In the greatness of your glory, you crushed the foe. Response, I will sing to the Lord, glorious is triumph. You will lead your people and plant them on a mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Response, I will sing to the Lord, glorious is triumph. Let us pray. O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day. For what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's rebirth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The reading from Isaiah chapter 54, verse 5, 14. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth he is called. For the Lord has called you like a wife forsaken and grave in spirit, like the wife of man's youth when she is Cast off, says your God. For a brief moment, I unburden you, but with great compassion, I will gather you. In overflowing red for a moment, I hid my face from you. But with everlasting love, I will have compassion on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is like the days of Noah to me. Just as I swore that the waters of Noah would never again go over the earth, so I have sworn that I will not be angry with you and will not rebuke you. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord. Who has compassion on you? O afflicted ones, storm tossed and not comfort, I am about to set your stones 
in Antomi and lay your foundation with the safe. I will make your pinnacle of rubs, your gates of jewels, and all the walls of precious stones. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the prosperity of the children. In righteousness, you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near the word of the Lord. Be to God. Our responsible son, I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. I will extol you, Lord, for you have drawn me up and did not let me fall rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought up my soul from soul, restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, O you, his faithfulness one, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. Sing praises. Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. I will extol you, Lord, for you have raised me up. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, surpass for the honor of your name what you pledged to the patriarchs by reason of their faith and through sacred adoption increase the children of your promise so that what the saints of old never doubted would come to pass your church may now see in great part fulfilled through Christ our Lord. Amen. With uh, joy in our heart, let us sing Gloria. To the Father, glory be to the Son, glory be to the Spirit, all glory to our God. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, thank We praise you for your glory. Praise you, we bless you, we worship you. O Lord our God, glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, glory be to the Spirit, <coughs> our glory. You are on 
This most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in body and mind we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died once for all to sin, so his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. After the Sabbath and towards dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magla and the other Mary went to visit the, the, the sepulchre. And all at once there was a violent earthquake for the angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled away the stone and sat on it. His face was like lightning, his robe white as snow. The girls were so shaken, so frightened of him, that they were like dead men. But the angel spoke, and he said to the woman, There is no need for you to be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He's not here, for he has risen, as he said he would. Come and see the place where he lay, then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead, and now he is going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him. 
Now I have told you, filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And they are coming to meet them was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him and falling down before him, clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. They will see me there. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, first of all, I would like to wish all of you a happy Easter. We have journeyed with the Lord for this past 40 days, praying, doing charitable works, and doing self-discipline by way of fasting. And today we have come to a day where we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. During these 40 days, we have felt what it means to suffer because of this pandemic, which is terrorizing the whole world. And in this suffering, we are not alone. We have suffered with the Lord, and the Lord has suffered with us and he is continuing to accompany us in this suffering. So today as we celebrate this great feast of resurrection, let us continue to implore the Lord to not let us, but to continue to walk with us. We can be witnesses to the resurrection by our words and our actions and through our lives. This evening, we have made a solemn procession into this dark church with lit candles and spread that light to one another. We have heard the glorious exultat proclaiming that this is the night of all nights, followed by a series of readings that proclaim the goodness, the mercy, and unbelievable love of our God. It seems that all of these elements of rejoicing and the great news in our many readings should come to a climax with the gospel that we have just proclaimed, the story of Jesus' resurrection from the dead. With all the buildup from our rituals and our readings, we could rightly expect exultant cheers and rejoicing from Mary Magdalene and the other Mary when they hear about the resurrection of their beloved master. The women have gone to the tomb and witnessed extraordinary and frightening events, an earthquake, an angel appearing like lightning, the guards shaken with fear who became like dead men, and the body of Jesus missing from the tomb. The angel tells them, do not be afraid, for Jesus has been raised just as he said. The angel then directs them to go quickly to tell Jesus' disciples. The women run off, both fearful and overjoyed. We have, all of us perhaps, experienced similar feelings. We want to believe good news that we hear, but it's too good to be true. In a world 
full of problems, crisis, suffering and sorrow. We can be so used to hearing the bad news that the good news can be hard to believe. Especially in this time of COVID-19, the virus which is spreading like a wildfire all over the social media, all that we hear is a bad news. Some even go to the extent of exaggerating the little news that we have. In this situation, we too can be like the women, hopeful, yet afraid to believe the good news. But whatever doubt Mary Magdalene and other Mary had after encountering the angel, it is erased when they encounter Christ himself. He is not a ghost or a memory. Indeed, they touch his feet and hear his voice. They worship him and are reassured by his words, do not be afraid. Jesus himself directs the women to announce his resurrection to the apostles and instructs them to meet him in Galilee. In the next 50 days, we will see how the apostles have their own encounters with the risen Jesus and how they receive the power from the Holy Spirit to be witnesses themselves. The men who deserted Jesus at his hour of death, at his hour of need, will now have the courage and zeal to be witnesses to Christ's life, message, death and resurrection. And how about us? The resurrection is 2000 years removed from our own experiences, yet we have the advantage of the witnesses of the apostles. We have the scriptures. We have our teachers, our parents, and other people whose influence in our lives helped us to believe in Jesus and his resurrection. Hopefully, in the past 40 days of Lent, we have also had our own personal encounters with Jesus through prayer, through the sacraments, and Jesus' message spoken to us through other people in our lives. Now, as people who have encountered Jesus, it's our turn to be witnesses to the resurrection. Witnesses of hope in a world in need of hope. Let us claim our legacy as Christians, the deep joy of the resurrection and the call to pass on, pass on the word that Jesus is risen and is indeed risen, alleluia. On this Holy Saturday, we wait with prayerful perseverance and hope during these dark hours while we remember Christ in the tomb. But a new day is about to dawn. Saint John Paul II said, said, do not abandon yourself to despair. We are Easter people and Alleluia is our song. As Easter people, hope is our Christian identity. We are beloved sons and daughters of God who are called to believe that Christ is truly risen, to feel it deep in our bones and then live with truth.
my dear brothers and sisters through the paschal mystery we have been buried with christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life and so now that our lenten observance is concluded let us renew the promises of baptism holy baptism by which we once renounced satan and his works and promised to serve god in the holy catholic church and so i ask you do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of god yes we do do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you yes i do do you renounce satan the author and prince of sin yes i do do you believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth yes i do do you believe in jesus christ his only son our lord who was born of the virgin mary suffered death and was buried rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the father yes i do do you believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting yes i do and may almighty god the father of our lord jesus christ who has given us new birth by water and holy spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of sins keep us by his grace in christ jesus our lord for eternal life amen the prayers of the faithful let us offer our prayers our petitions and especially the needs of the church of the world and, and and our individual needs before the lord asking him to listen to us Almighty ever living God be present by the mysteries of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the font of baptism so that what is carried out by our humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power Lord hear our prayer Lord hear our prayer We pray for the church that she may be a joyful witness to the resurrection of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world's nations and peoples to whom Christ's resurrection offers the fullness of God's peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Christian communities everywhere. embodying the triumph of life over death in their neighborhoods and cities we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we pray for those who hoped to be baptized during this easter season that the light of christ which shines in the in the night may shine over them and that they may experience christ in their desire to be united with him lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer let us pray for all our families all the families here in the diocese of lay who would have liked to be present in the church to celebrate this easter vigil 
but because of our situation, they are not able to. May God, in his goodness and mercy, listen to the prayers of all our families and be present to them at this time of difficulties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the doctors, the nurses, the hospital staff, government leaders, and all the committees who are working day in and day out so that people get proper care. May God protect them and bless each and every one of them. May they feel the presence of Jesus in their place of work and in whatever they do to help people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal needs. We gather all these prayers that we have just expressed and all the prayers which are deep within our hearts and minds, offering them into the hands of our beloved mother who has been journeying with us, walking with us all these 40 days of Lent and continue to walk with us, especially during these difficult times. We ask her to intercede for us and carry our prayers to her son Jesus and we pray together. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with, with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make all these prayers in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory 
as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Rosario Menezes, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of Lord the world. Jesus Christ, Have bring mercy eternal on life us. to us. We receive it. Lamb of God, Lord Jesus you Christ, take, take away the sins of the world. Beat your body and drink your blood. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us once again dedicate our diocese, all our missionaries, all the families, our lay leaders and catechists, 
especially the priests who are working in remote places and all those who are suffering who are infected with coronavirus their families and the souls of all those who have died and especially the doctors and nurses who are caring for the sick asking our beloved mother to accompany all of us at this time of difficulties we pray the memorare remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided Inspired with this confidence I fly to thee O virgin of virgins my mother to thee do I come before thee I stand sinful and sorrowful O mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me amen my beloved mother grant that i may have no other spirit but your spirit to know jesus christ and his divine will and to praise and glorify the lord that i may love god with burning love like yours amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen let us pray pour out on us o lord the spirit of your love and in your kindness make those who have nourished by this paschal sacrament one in mind and heart through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessings may almighty god bless you through today's easter solemnity and in this compassion defend you from every assault of sin amen. amen and may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality amen, amen. now that the days of the lord's passion have drawn to a close may you who celebrate the gladness of the paschal feast come with christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy amen, amen. and may the blessing of almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit come down on you and remain with you forever amen, amen. Go in the peace of Christ alleluia alleluia Thanks be to God alleluia alleluia Thank you and happy Easter to all of you